This is not the 51st division of Psalms. Psalms has only five divisions. Uh, this is the 51st number of Psalm. 51, Psalm 51, verse 11. Where it says, Do not cast from me your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. We have another question to be reading and hearing. We're the divine world of church. Say amen. We're going to use for a topic on this morning. I can't make it without him. Just when I said, neighbor, I know you think you're all of that, but you can't make it without him. I can't, I can't make it without, without him. Let us, my Lord, come and say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being good. Thank you, Lord, for being kind. Send out your notes and it makes this thing easy. Open the minds, hearts, ears, and people. Let them please receive your word and stop your flow. Need your power now, need your grace now. I'm a sinner. That's right, the preacher. I'm a sinner. But I'm saved by your love and grace. So God, you preach. They do part here to hear a word from you. God, help me now. I can't preach a word without you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your heart say amen. 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 Psalms 51 11. I can't make it without him. Uh, one of the most uh, painful, painful truths, an elder you already know is to be true, one of the most painful truths that every pastor must confront at some point in their ministry is the fact that people come and people go. Right? So it's not that you have done anything wrong, or even more so, there are terrible conflict roles in the ministry. No, it's just life. Uh, and once you go through that over and over again, people who you thought uh, you had to have in your life, once they leave, walk away or just no longer around, you realize that I'm okay without them. Uh, have you ever had somebody in your life that you just knew you couldn't live life without? Have you ever had someone in your life or someone you thought was in your corner and then once they left you, you realize I can still keep on living. You ain't talking to me here. You, you, you start asking yourself that question. Why did I keep them around as long as I did anyway? You're talking to me here. People, people will come and people will go. Friends will come and go. Family will love you one minute. You ain't talking to me here and can stand you. The next jobs come and go. But there's one person, family, I've learned throughout this Christian journey of my life that no matter what I go through in this journey, as one person, I can can't live without, and that one person is God. Is anybody here that say, Pastor, you're talking to me? I, I learned from my past experience. I cannot live without God. I can live. I can live without money, but I can't live without God. I can live without fancy houses and fancy clothes. You're gonna talk to me here, but I can't live without God. You can take all my education away and pull it down off the wall. You're not talking to me here, but I made up in my mind and realized. I cannot make it without God. You can run my reputation and scandalize my name, but it's all right, honey. I realize I just can't make it without God. Because when all else fails and I can't depend or rely on anybody else, I always know I've got God. I can depend on. Is there anybody here now that say, boy, you walk down my road? When I look back over my life, I realize for myself that God was the only person I really can depend on. Uh, people say, I'll be with you through thick and thin. Uh, and then when times get thick, they thin right out. Is there anybody here want to thank God? I can always depend on God. And how many in the building uh, want to thank God in here with everything that you got? Uh, but I can always uh, depend on God. Uh, it doesn't matter what the weather is doing outside. Uh, I can always uh, depend on God. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's tax season or not, honey. Uh, I'm going to have money in this summer. I can always depend on God. And you ain't talking to me here. And see, the reason why I'm making so much noise while I'm sitting next to you, because I'm going back over my life and thinking about all the times I depend on God. And He was right there. Is anybody here that will look back over your life and say, Pastor, He's always been right there. Grab your neighbor and say, He's always been right there. Yeah. yeah. In my pain, He was right there. In my misery, He was right there. Yeah. He was right there in my disappointment. He, he was right there in my agony. He was right there. He didn't matter when I was fixing. He was always right there. And anybody here want to thank God right now? He's always been right there. Right. Thank you, God. I, I'm going to say that. 
must admit, I must admit, I must admit, I'm, I'm overly excited about my brand new series, Back to the Basics, because sometimes we find ourselves guilty of going after so much after the blessing that we forget about the one who's giving us the blessing. Y'all not talking to me here. We are so caught up in getting our bodies healed that we don't remember the one who healed us. We get so caught up in going after money and working two jobs and three jobs and we're still broke. Instead of going after the God who said I carry on a thousand hills already belong to me. If heaven's streets are paved with gold, then I don't need to have to pressure my boss for a raise on my job. I need to tap into God that's got enough money to cover streets with gold. Is anybody here that said I'm going after God? I'm going after God. Just your name and say just give me God. Just give me God. You can take everything from me. Just give me God. I don't need to have a bunch of friends in my life. Just give me God. I don't need anybody to like me. Y'all not talking to me here. Just give me God. And I'm brand new to get a hookup. I can't keep nobody here. Just give me God. Because when you ain't talk to the real power of God, He has the power to make favor fall on your life. That money can't buy it. That God did some things in your life that money couldn't buy. That God opened some doors in your life that could nobody do but God. I need somebody to now to open up your mouth and thank God for all He's done for me. He'll make someone call you and give you a cashier's check. Don't you talk to me here. And, and you haven't seen this person in months. Don't you talk to me here. See, see, your problem is you are so worried about making sure everybody likes you that God don't even like you. Don't you talk to me here. Well, what good is it for everyone around me to think highly of me, but God looks at me and wants to spew me out of his mouth. But today is a new day, Pastor. And you're right, you can, I can't live without him. Grab somebody and say, I can't live without him. I can't live without him. God is the wind beyond my sail. God is the movement in my motivation. God is the spark in my fire. God is my peace in the midst of adversity. God is my security when I'm feeling vulnerable. God is my defense when I'm feeling violated. God is my everything. And I want to have some praise back for you here to open up your mouth right now to thank God that I thank him that he is my Pastor, please, please, Pastor, please, Pastor, excuse me while I praise God in this 915 service. Since he's the only one I can live without, he should be the only one that I give glory to. I tell you right now to thank God. But even after all my mistakes, I can't live without it. Even after all my downfalls, I can't live without it. The Yeah. Thank you, God. Good to text 
Let's have the right of my text. It is telling to show us how terrible David really feels. Yes, he's a man after God's own heart. But the sin in his life caused him much pain and grief. He, he found himself caught in trouble. And he's fearful and worried that God might take his prized possession from him. David says, whatever you do, God, don't, don't take, don't take, don't take your presence from me. The, the presence of God, watch me now, presence of God often acts as a spiritual compass that keeps me away from all the pitfalls and the ditches that life throws my way. I can't hear nobody here. The, the, the presence of God uh, has a cunning ability to penetrate the deepest inner parts of my spirit and, and minister to some deep, dark secrets uh, that nobody even knows nothing about. But the, but the presence of God uh, allows me, God, to step into a song. Don't talk to me here. And have the power to heal me out of my sickness while the presence of God is flowing uh, through praise and worship. Uh, now you can say what you want to say for that. Uh, but I need his presence. Uh, I can live without his presence. Uh, and anybody here want to say, God, you can take what you want to take from me, honey, but just give me his presence. And I can live without all that stuff, but just give me his presence. You can talk about me all day long, but just give me his presence. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. First reason, first reason I can't live without him is because I've encountered enough demons on earth to think that they can really bring any value to my life. That's right. Y'all need to hear what I said. I said, the reason why I can't live without his presence. I can't live without him. 